All right, all right, family. Black power, black power is the truth. I will with General Sara soon said he kicked back. Get your mind ready for some information that's guaranteed to be heavy. That's right, ring the alarm. We got you. We yeah. You understand what I'm saying? They say, yeah, damn it, that revolution come like a thief in the night. That's what they say. They come like a thief in the night. So here we is, family. We didn't crap on you, crap up on you with the knowledge and truth of our ancestors. We in here with a powerful one today. It's the true father with General Sarasu said he kicked back. Get your mind ready for some information that's guaranteed to be happy. That's right. It's going down this Sunday. Easter. Come right on your holiday. <laughs> Come right on your holiday with nothing but the truth. That's right. America is Egypt, Mississippi River versus the Nile debunked. Debunked. That's right. We come in with nothing but that fire. They can run, but they cannot hide. We own them. We own them with the truth, family. We want you to click that link. Matter of fact, let me get in here. Let me go to work. Let me go to work. See, I'll come like a thief in the night. Come like a thief in the night. Let me get in here, family. Yeah. Yeah, let me get that link in there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, let me get that in there. Okay, good. All right. Let me drop that in there. Yeah, I see you creeping there. That's all right. It's going to be fire. All right, family. So click that link, begin to think. Don't hesitate to elevate. You feel me? We, Of course, we're we going to have all the fire, all the smoke for your family. Don't you dare miss it. That's right. Ring the alarm. KingSetty.com online marketplace. Official General Sabra soon said he DVD lectures, T-shirts and hoodies, African and comedic jewelry we got for you. Uh, and, and at this time, we got 20% off, you know, everything in the store you say before you shop. You got a 20% discount waiting on you soon as you show up. We got all the fly the products that you want and need. And so right there, that's... That is waiting on you, family. So check us out, kingsetty.com. Get that 20% off at this time. That's right. Uh, pull the fire alarm. I got so many. I don't know why they would bring all these. Look at all these lectures up. Every lecture in the world came up at one time. My computer going to die. I'm just pushing it. You understand what I'm saying? I got so much inf information on here that it's just going to kill over one day. Straight up. Crime. Computer crime. All right. And we in the house. That's right. And of course, we got the holistic tonics and remedies, home decor, you know, the classic and Jurassic DVD lectures, T-shirts and hoods. We already went over that. That's right. Pull the fire alarm. That's right. Pull the fire alarm. GeneralSETI.com. SETI University. Over 900 video presentations on African history, heritage, uh, spirituality, nation building, mental warfare, developing the black nation one lesson at a time. The complete General Sarasun SETI website. You should be in class today. Don't you hesitate. That's right. General said he keep it popping on Patreon, BPC, making moves. We never come exclusive live stream too hot to handle on YouTube or any other tube. We just dropped Lil Lilith, Queen of Hell, Chief Goddess of the White World, the, the uh, previous, the Holy Waters of Creation, African Serpent and Mermaid Goddess. Also, 
General Seti's Dictionary of Alchemy and Occult Keywords Relating to Black Divinity. You should get over there to Patreon right now. Become a patron and unlock that five, family. It's for your benefit. It's for your benefit. That's right. Make sure you subscribe to all my YouTube channels. King Seti, General Seti, Sarasu and Seti. Rock that notification bell. Get a video. Thumbs up. Like it because you love it. Share it with your family and friends and comment, comment, comment. Just don't you say nothing stupid because I will ban your ass. And so here we go again. We black again. We got to we got to ride out on the family. We got to ride out on them. We got to come with nothing but the truth and nothing but the facts. You got Passover, and, and, and that's all they do is pass us over. That's all they ever do. You understand? Pass a nigga right over. That's what it is. That's what it's about. You see, that's what it's about. And so here it is, a holiday that venerates this and celebrates the pain and suffering of ancient Egypt. I mean, I say, I say, I mean, what kind of, I'm and, and we think about the holidays. You got Egypt, you got Egypt. I mean, uh, uh, you got uh, Passover, you got Easter, you see, you got a uh, Good Friday, you got Good Friday, wasn't good for Jesus, wasn't good for Jesus, you see, wasn't good for Jesus at all. He died and was crucified on the cross, they nailed him to the cross, they call it Good Friday, and then here you got Passover, a holiday that celebrates the pain and suffering, the death of the firstborn throughout the land of Egypt. I say, what kind of uh, what kind of goddamn holiday is this? What kind of holiday is this? You see, and it just show you how people's is so silly. You see that they will sit up here and celebrate the pain and suffering of a whole people. You see, you know, where they where they they first born have been slain by God Himself. What a wonderful God. What a wonderful God we have. That He will slay all the firstborn of ancient Egypt. On a on a on a on a, on a setup move. On a setup move. We're gonna deal with that. What you talking about, Seti, when you say a setup move? Let me deal with the setup. You see, let me deal with the setup. Let me deal with the setup. I got it all in here. That one too. I didn't even, I, I did, I did this yesterday. I didn't even put this one in. I didn't even put this one. Let me go and put this one in too. What a God. We, you know, what a God. If it was a man, he'd be doing, he'd be, he'd be on death row. If he committed all the murders and, and the scandalous things that, yeah, you know, be, he'd be on death row. But this is God. This is God, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna drop that one in too. Let me let me drop some things in here. Let me drop some things in here. Yeah, what a God. I know a family out there like hit hit here come Lucifer. <laughs> here come Lucifer. That's right. Coming with nothing but the truth. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's deal with this. You see. Because God set God set Egypt up. You know, and we understand that these are some hating, hating ass peoples behind the scene who then conjured up a book and say God wrote it. God inspired it. God ain't inspired nothing. And if he is, if he, if this is, if this is your God, then we hate your God. That's right. We hate your God. You understand what I'm saying? And we pray to our God that he do away with your God immediately. You see, we, 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 we energize our own ancestors. 
that they would rise up on your God and, 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 and slay your God, you see, so that we could live and that we could prosper and that we can call on the glory of our ancestors and our God. You see, we dealing with Exodus 10, 24 through 28, the King James. That's right. We're doing, we did, we got the James up here today. Okay. And it says, and Pharaoh called unto Moses and said, go ye serve the Lord. Only let your, your flocks and your, your herds be stayed. Let your little ones also go with you. You know, you got to take them damn kids now. You understand? You ain't going to be leaving. And you know how that go. They, you know, uh-uh. Take your kids. You see? And Moses said, Thou shall give us also sacrifices and burnt offerings that we may sacrifice to unto the Lord our God. Our cattle also shall go with us. There shall not an hoof be left behind. For therefore we must take to serve the Lord our God. And we know not with, uh, with what we must serve the Lord until we come thither. But the Lord, listen to me now. But the Lord, not Pharaoh, but the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart. And he would not let them go. And Pharaoh said unto the to him, get thee from me, take heed to thyself, see my face no more. For in that day thou seest my face, thou shalt die. Okay, so now what, what are we, what are we uh, hearing here? See, this is showing that the Egyptians really didn't give a damn about the Israelites. They didn't give a damn. These was nothing but goat herders. And every time that uh, Moses asked Pharaoh to let my people go, Pharaoh said, get out of here. Get up, get out. Don't take too long. But it was God that hardened the heart of Pharaoh. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. It's, and it says, but the Lord, harden pharaoh's heart okay so he 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 removed free weight wheel from pharaoh he was not he was not doing this of his own will this was god who had taken over the will of pharaoh and he hardened pharaoh's heart only that he could you see bring egypt to it to its knees you see, now what kind of people would, you know, because we have to understand that God is only the, the reflection of the man's mind who wrote the book. I don't want nobody to believe at no time that some spirit from up out of the sky passed down a book through the clouds to no damn man. If you that big of a damn fool, then you might as well go on Cartoon Network and believe goddamn the cartoons. You see what I'm saying? You might as well make real goddamn Mickey Mouse and, and, and Daffy Duck and Scooby-Doo and all of that. If you believe that a God passed the damn book through the sky, you see, we got to give up on these fairy tales today and deal with reality. This is a man's mind who has a deep hate for Africa. And have conjured up all type of mythological tales of hate, you see. And so we we also look here, and, and, and this says, uh, is this is this the same? Yeah, this 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 might be. No, this is this was the one before it. It was the one before it. Exodus fourteen four. This is God now. This is Exodus 14, 4, 4. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and he will pursue them. And I will get glory over Pharaoh. He got it out for Pharaoh. He got it out for Pharaoh and all his hosts. And the Egyptians shall, shall know 
that I am the Lord. And they did so. You see, this wasn't Pharaoh uh, in his own will. This was God taking over the will of Pharaoh so that he could set him up so he could see Egypt crumble. You see, what kind of people would want to see that? You see, you can see, it's somebody that got a deep, deep hate in their heart for Africa. A deep, deep. So we got to, we got to get the, uh, uh, you know, the magnifying glasses, uh, uh, the magnifying glass out, and we got to, we had to search these books and, you know, and you know, and these these so-called scriptures for the fingerprints. Who trying to set Egypt up? You see, and we come down to. Uh, Exodus 7, 1 through 25, and it says, And the Lord said to Moses, See, I have made you like God to Pharaoh. Huh? <laughs> and your brother Aaron shall be your prophet. You shall speak all that I command you, and your brother shall tell Pharaoh. Listen, and your brother shall tell Pharaoh to let the people of Israel go out of this of his land. But listen, but I will harden Pharaoh's heart. And though I multiply my signs and wonders in the land of Egypt, Pharaoh will not listen to you. What, what, what the fuck is he supposed to do? If God is controlling his will, what the hell is he supposed to do? Is, is, is Pharaoh greater than God? Now, we know this is a story, but is Pharaoh greater than God? Pharaoh is God. But we're talking about in the context uh, of the Bible. And then it say, I will lay, I will lay my hand on Egypt and bring my host, my chill, my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great acts of judgment. So Pharaoh just said, You can go. But no, you don't want, you don't want them to just leave. No, you don't want them to just leave. Is that what you want, God? No, you don't want them to just leave. You want to, you want to bring them out by great acts of judgment. See, you want fireworks and shit. You want pain and suffering. This is a God that adorns pain and suffering. You see, nobody's talking about that. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I stretch out my hand against Egypt and bring out the people of Israel from among them. This is a wicked God. It, 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 it's a wicked God to set a people up like that. People didn't say, Pharaoh say, leave, be gone. But that's not good enough for you. You got to set the nation up. You see, you got to bring down the nature, the nation with great acts of judgment, fireworks and, and suffering, pain and suffering. You see, I did that one. Exodus 4, 21. And the Lord said to Moses, when you go back to Egypt, see that you, uh, that you do before Pharaoh all the miracles that I have put in your power. But I will harden his heart so that he will not let the people go. Did you hear that? But I will harden his heart so that he will not let the people go. <laughs> and so what was we got to talk about what was the outcome of this? A setting up ancient Egypt. See, you, you they didn't set up the holy land. You see, you see, they didn't set up the holy land. And so what we got to do is we got to. Now, what was the outcome of this? What was the outcome of this? Matter of fact, let me let me get in here. Exodus 11, 5. And every firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die. You hear that? After he, after he hardened Pharaoh's heart, the tenth plague was that all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die. 
from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sits on his throne, even to the firstborn of the slave girl who is behind the hand mill and all the firstborn of the cattle. Everybody. What kind of shit is this? What, and this is Passover, y'all. We talking about Passover today. Matter of fact, when do it start? I don't even know if it started yet. Did it start? Yes, it started. It started uh, 12 midnight. Well, to, well, yeah, it started 12 midnight last night, yesterday, which is they start the day. They start the day at night, which is crazy as hell. So we talking about 12 uh, p.m., which is still it's still it's still in the p.m. 12 p.m. Or a.m. Matter of fact, what am I talking about? A.m. 12 a.m. It started the Passover. OK, 12 a.m. started the Passover. And so and so this is and people don't understand. This is what they celebrate. I'm going to read it for you again. Exodus 11. And, I, and you have to understand how sick of people could be. And see, when you bring this out, you know that you could have a holiday with the death of everybody, all the firstborn of a nation like that. You see, let me read it again for you. 11, Exodus 11, 5, if you need to look it up. And every firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sits on his throne, even to the firstborn of the slave girl who's, who was behind the hand mill and all the firstborn of the cattle. So even the slave that didn't have shit to do, it, do with it, they got to die too. You see, they got to die too. Hebrew 11:28 By faith he shall keep the Passover and sprinkle the blood so that the destroyer of the firstborn might not touch them Hebrew 11:28 By faith he kept the Passover and sprinkled the blood so that the destroyer of the, of the firstborn might not touch them. Numbers 3.13. For all the firstborn are mine. On that day that I struck down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I consecrated for my own all the firstborn in Israel both of man and beast. Did you hear that? Why he strike down the blood of Africa, he consecrated for his own, all the firstborn of Israel. Why? If that ain't some racist shit have I ever heard in my life, that is some of the most racist shit I ever heard. Period. This is a wicked God. And you, and, 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 and you hear the man say, leave. You got them and say a blessing. He say, say a blessing for me too. Say a blessing for me. That's what he said. You get up out of here, take your kids with you and, and, and say a blessing for me. God harden his heart and tell him, don't let him go. So I can destroy your ass the way that I want. I want, I want, I want five works. God damn it. I want blood. I want five works. I ain't going to just let you let him go. I'm going to harden your heart so that I can bring you down. That I can commit mass murder on all the firstborn of each. Mm, mm, mm. This is what you celebrate. This is what they celebrate. You see? You see, this is why we got to rise up on this book. That's why we got to. Because every all the, the mass murder... And, I mean, this God is, is, is out of his mind. This is a maniac from the flood to, and you talking about the devil, the devil ain't got shit on God. 
nothing. <laughs> nothing. Devil ain't got shit on God. Period. He didn't wiped out damn near the earth five times. <laughs> he didn't wiped out the damn earth damn near five times. You see? And so you we had to we had to realize what's going on in here. You see? Let's 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 look. But this is what we're celebrating right now. Psalms 135.8. He, he was so struck down the firstborn of Egypt, both man and beast. He it was who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, both, both man and beast. You see, both man and beast. For Exodus 12, 12, for I will pass through the land of Egypt that night and I will strike all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And, uh, and on all the gods of Egypt, I will execute gods of Egypt. I will execute my judgment. I am the Lord. Exodus 11, 1, the Lord said to Moses, yet one plague more I will bring upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. Afterwards, he will let you go from here. When he lets you go, he will drive you away completely. Okay. Psalms. Psalm 136.10, to him who struck down the firstborn of Egypt for his steadfast love endures forever. Wow, what a love. What a love. And so we, we just continue to show and prove what this is, what this book is, and how anti and how destructive it is to African people. This book is totally destructive to African people. And you, you cannot be confused about that. Though there is some, like I said, you got to go in there and you got to get the truth out of there. You got to get the truth out of there. And there's some truth in there. But it's wrapped around a whole lot of wickedness. It's wrapped around a whole lot of wickedness and it must be revealed to the people. You see, it must be revealed to the people. We cannot be confused. You see, if you, if you, you know what? And the crazy thing about this, the crazy thing about this, that even though they know what this Passover is, and they know that it's, it's a blood ritual, they know that. If you put that in the title of exactly what it is, they might take it down. You can't even say what it what it is. You see, because you're not supposed to, I guess, relay that type of, you understand, you know, you know, when you talk about death and you, you can't even put that in the title. You see, they might take it down. You understand? They might flag it. You see, saying you 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 know you you know you speaking upon some form of, of violence or something, but it it is actually what the, the damn holiday is. And I'm being serious to you. That's why people have to craft and see this is and this this is what happens when you blur reality, where you can't actually say what it is. You see, and this is what they're doing out there. You can't, and though you can read right, right out of the Bible what the Passover is, if you put it in the title and you say anything about the death of the firstborn, then they might say, man, you was, you, you promoting violence or something. You see? And so in, in that frame of, 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 of control over truth, you know, they begin to craft 
you see a false reality and people, you know, all they see is the candles and shit. You know how they had a little, you know, they do they little pass over. You got your little candles and, you know, you got your little bread on the table. They, and, 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 and so you won't really grasp what this story is actually about. You won't grasp it. And so this is about the genocide of African people. It is about the genocide of African people. And we and we must understand this and we must understand that, you know, we are, we are at war. We are at war for the, the souls and the spirits and the minds of our people. We are at war for the souls and the spirits and the minds of our people. You see, and we 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 have to win this war. We cannot fall victim to this 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 you know this treachery that they didn't print it up and you know and got people believing that God ordained this is not our God at all. This is not our God at all. You see, our God is a God that love us. You understand? They want to see the best in, for us. Want to see harmony and peace and prosperity for for us. You see, this is not our God. We got to take this right here and throw it right in the garbage. You see what I'm saying? And even if you keep it, but you have to understand mentally, you have to dispose of this information. You take it and you you read it and you dissect it. You understand what it, and you shoot it back on them to let, let them know that you know who they are. We know the source of your of your spirit and we know that it's a wicked spirit we know who you are we know who you are and so we only to speak their name and let them know because when you speak the name of that demon you control him you 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 let him know that he's been exposed and that he can no longer hide behind no books or nothing we have we exposing the devil you understand the God and all of that is one and the same. There's not our God. You see, it's not our God. And so we've been tricked into believing. And once you realize that it's a trap, that you ain't even got no way out. That's why when most people read this book, they want to be something else. <laughs> Shit. They're going to want to be something else. They're not going to want to be the African because the African is cursed all through the book. Everywhere you look. He's cursed and God is against him. So why would he want to be African? You see, if he go by this book, if he go by the Bible, then he's not going to want to be African. You see? And so family, I just, you know, this is to expose Passover, a holiday that celebrates the pain and suffering of African people. A whole holiday. And then Friday is good Friday. Wasn't good for Jesus. <laughs> wasn't good for Jesus. It wasn't good for Jesus at all. You see what I'm saying? So you come out of Passover. You see, you come out of Passover. A, 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 a blood ritual by God. Mass murder, you, you're talking about mass murder of all the firstborn of Egypt. Then you go into Good Friday where they nail Jesus to a cross. It's just, I mean, it's just nothing but blood rituals. Holidays of nothing but pain and suffering and blood rituals. And all you want to do is crack some Easter eggs and, and shit and, and hop around like a silly man, silly woman talking about you the Easter bunny and shit and all that put little put little bunny ears on your head and you see you know that's right I like to you exactly right you see what the family said the Passover is equivalent to to people making a holiday about the Holocaust that's exactly what it is that's exactly what it is you couldn't have said it no more better you see you hit it right. You hit that right on, on on the head. Bing. You see, that's exactly what it is. But though we understand that, if you if you even put that out there, the way you see, they'll have a problem with that. 
You see, even though that's 100% facts, you see, even though that's 100% facts, they have a problem with that. You see what I'm saying? They almost got it where if you just put them words in there, you see what I'm saying? It, it, Holocaust or whatever. They already registered. Do, 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 do. You know what? You know, you ain't, ain't no nigga. If you put pass over in there or anything, you see, you have to word that right. Any little, you know, you can't put a coat or nothing in there. You understand what I'm saying? They going to, that triggers them. You see what I'm saying? That triggers them to, you know, because they already know you exposing something. You see what I'm saying? They ain't got to hear no more than that. You see? But we going to reveal the truth no matter what. So, family, let us move on. We got one more. We got one more. We're going to drop, put you to sleep with some, some, some knowledge on your brain. I'll be right back, family, for another powerful presentation. This is the General Sarasun said he saying, hey, arm yourself with knowledge. Bang on that wicked ass beast daily. Liberation through African education and confrontation. Black power.